Madam Clerk, please call the next public speaker. Mayor, we have four speakers regarding human life ordinance. The first is Ashley Robinson. Good evening. Please identify yourself and proceed. Good evening. My name is Ashley Robinson, and I am a senior vice president at Bakersfield High School. And I am also a 40 Days for Life activist. And I've heard that a Planned Parenthood was, um, the idea of a Planned Parenthood is supposed to be built near Mercy Hospital. In my opinion, I am against it because Planned Parenthood does perform abortions. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, abortions are considered murders of babies. A fetus is a baby whether you choose to accept it or not. It has a pulse, it has brain waves, it can breathe whatever their mother is breathing, it can eat, it's considered a baby. I don't really have much to say about it because I was a little nervous about coming up here, but the most that I can say is that I don't think that building a Planned Parenthood would be a very good idea. Thank you. Madam Clerk, please call the next public speaker. Becky Zobel. Good evening, please identify yourself and proceed. Good evening, my name is Becky Zobel. I'm a registered nurse. I've worked in the healthcare for 25 years. Um, I've worked with ne in neonatal intensive care. I've taken care of premature babies. They are fully human. They're the most special children or humans that we have. They need a little extra time and care, but they um, are just as human as all of us who can walk already and do everything that they will potentially do. I would ask you all to adopt the human, human life ordinance that would put the city of Bakersfield in a place of upholding the rights and the sanctity of the life of humans in the womb. This would be part of when we see victory, you guys will be part of that, upholding life, which is uh, what all religions would like um, and uphold. This will be, today's the start of the 10th 40 Days for Life, which is a prayer vigil outside of Family Planning Associates and a 24-hour vigil there and a 12-hour vigil outside of the proposed Planned Parenthood building. Um, Family Planning Associates um, very well serves Bakersfield. There are 25 children aborted there every week. That's about a kindergarten class a week when we had smaller classrooms. This is just a travesty to our future. How can the city continue when we're taking the youngest and the most innocent? As a nurse, um, having studied fetal, the fetal development um, as a medical professional, there's no way that um, not hold, upholding life from conception can be not uh, be upheld. So please consider and adopt the human life ordinance. Thank you. Before the next speaker, speaker comes forward, let me remind everyone I do not allow applause in the council chambers. Thank you very much for your cooperation. Madam Clerk, please read the next public speaker. Fred Fies. Good evening, please identify yourself and proceed. Yes, sir. My name is Fred Feast. I'm pastor of McKeero Baptist Church in uh, Greenfield. And I come to you today on behalf of those in this community, uh, both ministry and community leaders, uh, who have felt uh, the need to present this chamber with a solemn appeal 
to adopt a human uh, life ordinance. Now, I've lived here for the past seven years, and in the time that I've been in this community, I've noticed uh, something very unique about this community uh, as it relates to the rest of California, uh, and that is its strong conservative and moral values. Um, the constituency of this community uh, has uh, a high level of Christian, uh, but other faiths that uphold uh, human life uh, at every stage of biological development. Um, and so I, along with the other 43 undersigned pastors and community leaders, uh, represent what we believe to be a large piece of this community uh, and, of course, your constituency. Uh, along with these other houses of faith, uh, we believe we represent uh, many Bakersfieldans uh, when we urge you uh, to, to adopt a human life ordinance. Um, now we're sure that our voice counts um, in this community and, of course, in this chamber, and we thank you for the consideration uh, that you have already given. We implore you as Christians and people guided by faith in God to do what is expedient uh, for the people of Bakersfield. We do not ask you to be a pace setter uh, for other cities, uh, neither to go out on a limb, but rather making, your de making decisions that reflect the high moral makeup of this community. Um, we recognize the adoption of such human ordinance to defend uh, the life of the unborn uh, may cause litigation. And unfortunately, uh, it seems like some highly funded institutions can get their way uh, with any city because of uh, the threat of litigation. But we feel like uh, this ought not be cause to uh, shy away from such a subject, but rather to do uh, what the people of Bakersfield uh, feel is decent, uh, moral, and right. Now, I would expect the liberal communities of such large cities as Los Angeles uh, and San Francisco to have chambers very much tied with their hands uh, in such a decision because uh, of the makeup of their city. But we ask you, uh, of course, uh, here in Bakersfield, uh, to make a decision that would be different. We know there are others in this community that have a different point of view, and we respect that. And we believe that the current institutions in this community already serve those people, and the need for a larger, uh, more extensive facility uh, is disproportionate to the need of this community. So again, we urge you to listen to our voice and the voice of the people you serve uh, and the voice, uh, of course, God, who is the only true moral compass, and uh, to draw a line in the sand here uh, and to hold it. Thank you so much for your consideration. Madam Clerk, please call the next public speaker. Excuse me, Tim Palmquist. Good evening. Please identify yourself and proceed. My name is Tim Palmquist. <clears throat> Thank you, Honorable Mayor and members of the council once again. Um, I just wanted to get back to that human life ordinance that was submitted to you all uh, several council meetings back and to the comments of your city attorney, Ms. Gennaro, at the last city council meeting regarding her claim that this is not in the city's purview, not in the county's purview, not even in the state's purview, but that it is clearly in the federal purview. Now, I sent each one of you individually correspondence that I think shows quite clearly that even within the city attorney's office of Bakersfield, it's understood that this is something that the council not only has the authority to vote on, but it is something that is really, it's your job. It's not the city attorney's job to do that. Now, regarding the claim that it's a federal matter, let's look at history, okay? Why don't we look at the city of Oberlin, Ohio in 1858? A federal law had been passed about eight years before that, the Fugitive Slave Law. A couple of years before that, the United States Supreme Court had passed their landmark Dred Scott decision. In both cases, federal law and Supreme Court agreed that the color of a person's skin could be the term determining factor to make that person be considered property. Now, in the city of Oberlin, Ohio, they said, no, we don't buy that. We believe that we are endowed by our creator with certain unalienable rights. Now, in this case, history proved the federal government wrong. 
History proved the city right. History proved the Supreme Court wrong. And it all started because of one town with courageous leaders. Do you have courage to follow the law? I said follow the law. The law gives this city certain powers. Those powers are outlined in the charter of the city of Bakersfield. The human life ordinance is consistent with those powers. It is based upon those powers. Do you lack the courage to do the right thing? Do you feel too weak? Me too. I have felt so weak and helpless throughout this process. And the one thing that has kept me going is the promise in God's word that when I am weak, he is strong. So I would just ask you, if you know him, if you know Jesus Christ, now is the time to call on him for strength to do the right thing. And if you don't know him, might be a good time to get to know him. Thank you very much. Madam Clerk, please call the next public speaker.